Next is Maisen's gain formula. So what is the use of this Maisen's rule? So as I have told you already that the block diagram reduction technique requires successive application of fundamental relationship in order to arrive at the system transfer function. But whereas with the signal flow graph, we can find the transfer function very easily using this Maisen's gain formula. So what is Maisen's rule? So it is given by a formula that the transfer function C of S by R of S, that means Laplace of output by Laplace of input of a system represented by signal flow graph is. So if whenever a system is represented by signal flow graph, you can find the transfer function using this Maisen's rule which is given by C of S by R of S is equals to sigma pi delta i by delta. So this is the Maisen's gain rule to find the transfer function of any system which is represented by a signal flow graph. So here the n is nothing but number of forward paths and pi is nothing but the ith forward path gain that means if you are moving the first forward path p1 is nothing but gain of that forward path and delta i is the value of delta for that part of block diagram that does not touch its forward path. What it means means, so if you are if you are traversing in a forward path, if some loops are not touching that forward path, then delta A is corresponded to that non-touching loops to your forward path. So you can understand this when you are solving the problem. So the delta i is nothing but the value of delta for that part of block diagram which is not touching its forward path. It means gain of those loops which are not touching your forward path. So suppose if there are no touching loops to the side path, non-touching, it means everything is touching to your forward path, then delta i is simply 1. If suppose if there is any one loop which is non-touching the your forward path then delta i is given by 1 minus gain of that loop and delta is overall gain that is nothing but 1 minus sigma of loop gain individual loop gains plus sigma of gain products of two non-touching loops and similarly you can extend this formula like minus sigma of gain products of three non-touching loops gain products of three non-touching loops let's solve few examples to get clarity on Maslow's gain formula so here i have given you the block diagram so you have to find the transfer function of this block diagram using slc that means first you have to convert this block diagram to sfg so how to convert this so first mark the node this is r node this is node e and this is node c already given so it is mark the nodes r e and c so this is r e and c so r and e are interconnected by a branch with gain 1 and e and c are interconnected with a branch with gain g and we can see that c and e are interconnected with a brand feedback as it is a negative feedback you can write it as minus h and you can extend this as like this also again it is a c note with gain 1 it is nothing but same so now how to find the transfer function so we have known that already transfer function is nothing but c by r output by input so output is c input is r first step is find the for number of forward paths that means how can you reach the c from starting from r so in this diagram you have only one forward path you can start from r again to c directly you can come to see this way so this is the only way you can have so there is only 
one forward path and forward path gain P1 is equals to G. And there is only one feedback. So first identify the forward path and next identify the feedback loop. There is only one loop. So that is nothing but this one. This is loop 1. And the gain of that loop is in G into minus H which is minus GH. You can calculate delta as 1 minus sigma of sum of loop gains plus sigma product of two non-touching loop gains So, but in the given problem, you have only one loop that too, it is one individual loop. So, you can write it as 1 minus minus GH which is 1 plus GH. So, delta is 1 plus GH. And next is delta I. What about delta I? Delta here, you are having only one forward path. You can replace I with 1 now. Delta 1 means gain of that path which is not touching your forward path so better say gain of that loop which is not touching your forward path so let's see one more time what is your forward path so r c e and c that means each and every node is touching this forward path there is only one loop which is e to c and again c to e so this is the only loop and the forward path nodes and this loop nodes are coinciding. That means there is no loop which is not touching the forward path. That means delta i is equals to 1, my, 1 only. Because as there are no loops which are not touching this forward path, so delta 1 is 1 only. So total transfer function can be written as C by R is equals to P1 delta 1 by delta which is given by G by 1 plus GH. So this is nothing but the transfer function. So it is the given system is a negative feedback closed loop system. So the transfer function is G by 1 plus GH. Let's see one more example. So this is the another block diagram. So you have to find the transfer function using Mazen's gain formula by converting this block diagram to S of G. So again mark the nodes. So this is the node 1 and again this is one more node G1 G4. This is one more node. So you can combine these two blocks which are in cascade to one block. So that means this is one node. And this is the node and this is the node so you can write it as input R and this is E so these are connected by a branch with 1 and this is one more node suppose this is x1 this is x2 so this is x1 and x2 between x1 and x2 it is connected with a gain g1 g4 and this is x3 so if you observe here g2 and g3 are in parallel that means you can write g2 and again this one is g3 and this is final node connected by gain 1. If the nothing is given, assume the gain is as 1. 
and x2 and x1 and x2 and this error this was connected by feedback as it is a positive feedback represent with h1 only and now the output c and this one x1 is again output c and x1 is connected by suppose this is c and again this is also c with gain c as it is a negative feedback system write it as minus h2 so quickly let's see the how many forward paths are there so starting from here this is, you can go to x1 x2 x3 and to c so this is one forward path and next forward path is again to x1 x2 you can go in this way to x3 and c there are only two forward paths so there are there are two forward paths p1 is equals to so 1 into g1 g4 g1 g4 into g2 so you can write it as g1 g4 g2 and next forward path is g1 g4 g3 so these are the two forward paths and what are the feedback loops how many feedback loops are there so this is one feedback loop so pl1 loop 1 is g1 g4 h1 next what about is there any other loop if you see here you can start x1 g1 g4 g3 and this one c again back to x1 so you can write it as p loop 2 is equals to that means g1 g4 to g3 into 1 into minus h2 so it into minus h2 so you can write it as minus g1 g3 g4 h2 is there any other loop let's check once again so g1 g4 g2 and minus h2 this is one more loop so pl3 is equal to g1 g4 g2 into minus h2 so which is minus g1 g4 g2 and h2 so overall there are three loops three loops and two forward paths so delta you can calculate it as as there are no non touch two non touching loops there are only individual loops you can write it as 1 minus sigma individual loop gains individual loop gains so you can write it as 1 minus g1 g4 h1 minus g1 g3 g4 h2 minus g1 g2 g4 h2 and now calculate delta 1 delta 1 means gain of that path which is not touching the your forward path let's have a look of the forward paths the first forward path is g1 g4 g2 so this is so it is touching every node x1 x2 x3 that means you can directly say that so there are no loops which are non touching to this forward path because this forward path is touching every node x1 x2 x3 that means every obviously every loop will also be touching to this forward path so you can simply write delta 1 as 1 then what about delta 2 
So delta 2 is nothing but g1, g4, g3. Again it is also touching x1 node, x2 node, x3 node. That means each and everything are interconnected. And each and every. So obviously the loops will also be touching to this forward pass. So you can write directly delta 2 also as 1. So as there are no non-touching loops to the your given forward path. So delta 1 is 1, delta 2 is also 1. So finally you can write t equals to c by r equals to t1 delta 1 plus c2 delta 2 by delta. So which you can write it as so g1, g2, g4. Delta 1 is 1. g1 g3 g4 delta 2 is again 1 so this can be written as 1 minus g1 g4 h1 plus g1 g3 g4 h2 plus g1 g2 g4 h2 so this is the required transfer function for the given block diagram